the Philly Joe and Kirby podcast. This is the Philly Joe and Kirby podcast. This feels like such a uh, first world complaint, and it's a demonstration of how we have grown accustomed to convenience, and we won't have it any other way as a society, and I am as guilty as anyone. Uh, my tap has, and this happens on your debit card, when your tap stops working, it's what, maybe once a year? or That's a, a pain in the ass. And it is, I feel like, it's been going on now for two days, so I'm going to go to the bank today because I can't go another day. I feel like I, it's such a, it's such a small, you know, plug the card into the machine. Yes, it, it's it's what it takes another sixty seconds, but it feels like a half an hour. Like I've had to, <laughs> I've had to do it a few times in the last two days. Drive throughs, getting coffee, getting this, getting that, and I'm like, oh, I I apologize to the. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm taking forever punching in my. And they almost look uh, annoyed, like because oh, they yeah. got they got a hand over the machine, yes. and it's sure. like, man, can't you just tap and go for mm-hmm. God's sakes? How about the fact when uh, how excited people were when they uh, up uploaded the tap to two hundred dollars from a hundred? Oh, like that was a game a changer moment. too. It's like, whoa, wait a second. Now I'm at a hundred and one. <laughs> I gotta put it in the machine. Now I can actually tap again. Yes. So you're right. Convenience is like But it starts a conversation the second your tap doesn't work, you're like, Oh, I'm so sorry. You feel and they they're not like, Don't worry, oh, it's only another few they they I, you're right, Kirby. They're like you feel like you're ho- like inconveniencing you're seriously them. inconveniencing them and holding up the line. So, and then this morning at Timmy's, uh, my Timmy's on Dougal there. Good morning, Dolores, the best. But they had it wrapped in plastic because it's raining. What else oh, is new? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. Dolores was like, uh, so I said, I got to hey, I got to insert the card. And she's like, oh. And she looks over to the other girl. Yeah, ra- you, you didn't leave a spot for the insert when you wrapped it in plastic. <laughs> and this poor girl's like, oh, I'm so sorry, Dolores. And she comes running over there. And now they're both trying to figure out how to get a slit in Living there. For in my, in the- <laughs> now you're really holding I know. I'm like, they're just sending minutes. you through now. <laughs> through, through. Go, go, <laughs> go, go. It's on us. <laughs> we got people behind you. Go, sir, go. <laughs> Philly Joe Kirby. Philly Joe and Kirby podcast. The Philly Joe and Kirby podcast. Ever feel like no one's listening? We've got your back. Call the Bone Phone. 780-BONE. Brought to you by Auto Gallery of Winnipeg. What are you smoking? Who's your dealer? Give me the goddamn number. I want to smoke what the f*** someone from Manitoba Highways is smoking that agreed and approved the closure of the entire Highway 1 through Henley. And then you want to reroute traffic through freaking Oak Bluff to, to Eli going westbound. Okay, not bad. In the, it's good in the morning. Coming back, it's good. Highway 13 to 2. But it was like a kilometer plus long lineup on Highway 13 to get on the 2. And then yesterday, holy f***, I'm coming through Oak Bluff before Oak Bluff at least three kilometers before the roundabout. And from there, from the three kilometers to, like, the roundabout and then to the light, to, uh, the perimeter highway, I f***ing waited 45 minutes. Like, what the f***? Give your head a shake, f- me. Now, Joe, you uh, provided us with an update on that situation earlier this morning. Yeah, it's supposed to wrap up that project. It's railway uh, road work that's going on there, and it's supposed to wrap up on Friday at some point. I want to thank Vince on the Boston Pizza text line who uh, passed that along to us this morning. So supposed to wrap up Friday for anybody heading out that way, maybe mm. for the long weekend, right? A lot of cottages uh, and uh, travel. Cool. Heading Thank you very much, Vince. Uh, a new, uh, I'm hoping this becomes a regular, the Transcona welder. Hey, it's the big bad bear here, uh, the local Transconian welder, uh, Corey Bear from Affinity Welding. Like to say, uh, Glad uh, everybody can enjoy the fruits of my labor, or maybe the sweets, because uh, Krispy Kreme Donuts is open up now, and I uh, heard it's going pretty strong. Uh, just on my uh, way out to a uh, site job up north, doing some welding, and yeah, the morning uh, tunes, you guys really playing dangers, man. Keep it up. Good job there. Mm. Remember when I That's slopped nice. that Krispy Kreme, uh, Boston cream, all over me? Yeah. All over your pant leg, that was, and uh, it looked like something else? Yeah, I remember. Well, you thought it looked like something else. Yeah, you are actually, you <laughs> keep referring to that, actually, <laughs> a do, lot, that I do. will never have a Boston <laughs> cream donut ever again. Thanks, Kirby. <laughs> but, uh, 
Anyway, uh, but at yeah. the end of the day, I think uh, Krispy Kreme want the, those shorts for the Hall of Fame. They, I gave them to them already. Yeah. They're yeah. hung up in the, in the lobby. <laughs> Signed. <laughs> Uh, Ranger, he got mis- he, he, the situation is Walker, Texas Ranger was mad, was mad for just a minute at uh, the Ranger because he thought the Ranger was calling himself Ranger. And he's like, yo, there's only one. <laughs> he got defensive. There's only one Ranger here. <laughs> Misheard. Yeah. Hey, guys, Ranger here. I was calling. I heard uh, the other day that uh, Mr. Uh, Walker, Texas Ranger thought I was trying to ease in on his name and stuff like that. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Texas Ranger. They call me the Ranger. Not the insane person. I don't want to mess with you or any of your high kicks from those cowboy boots you wear, my friend. All right? So I hope you have a wonderful day. Winnipeg traffic, I hope there's nothing that I have to rage about later. And uh, everybody, have a great day. Looking forward to a good week. Last week of school, watch out for the kiddos. They're going to be going crazy. All right? Everybody, have a great day. Rager, out. Good. Uh, conflict avoided between Rager and Walker, Texas Ranger. That's it. That was... Uh... No rage at all, mm-hmm. right? Absolutely. Nice to hear the other side of rager. And there was a lot of grads out last night too, taking pictures again. Yep. Like yeah. I just love it. I love it. I love driving around, seeing like the family photos. And, cool. Yeah. Social media is just full of grad photos right now. That's so. it. One uh, kid graduated from grade five, and I'm going to tell you that cute kid of yours, your wife dang. put together a nice little. The Tominator's <laughs> one of the all-time great kids. I got to tell you, it was quite the. There's uh, something about that kid. Uh, he was. Spit shine and polish. That oh, kid looked yeah. good. We had to hose him down for grade five <laughs> grand. That, that's last Philly's little mini me. I made yeah. him have a shower after school because he comes home sweaty, <laughs> full of mud from football or whatever. I'm like, you gotta, you gotta have a shower. We're not yeah, going hose out to your down in the backyard with a hose. Get, get I swear, I washing. thought, I thought it was gonna be like part of his athletic collection, but he dressed up <laughs> he nice. He looked put good. A, put a golf shirt on. <laughs> He looked good. He wanted to wear a Shaq jersey. But like, <laughs> he's got a Shaq jersey. He has a Shaq jersey. He wears it like three days a week. He's all, out of, he's all about nostalgia. <laughs> wow, I love it. it. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kirby's guy, Eddie, wants to talk about the Oilers. Yeah. Just heard about uh, the Edmonton game. Well, let's hear it for the Oilers. You know, from uh, 3 nothing to final game, good on them. You know, it's too bad they didn't win, but hey, you can't have everything. Mm-hmm. But let's let's hear it for the Oilers. Have a good day. You guys have a lot in common, you and yes. Old Daddy. We're very positive you, people. Well, no, I was because he throws the phrases out, the catchphrases. Yes, you can't have everything, and that's yeah. just that is something you would say. Yeah. I'm just saying, you got Belichick and the 24 year old girl. I'm just never say never, Kirby. You and Old Eddie. I don't know. I'm not like. Uh, you that's know. Isn't true. he in his 70s? I believe he said he was. Yeah, he called himself Old Eddie. He calls himself. We used to call that. him Fast Eddie. He says, "I'm not fast anymore. I'm just Old Eddie." <laughs> and you, 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 I didn't even think about that. But you're right. You're, oh you guys, I could God. see you guys having breakfast or something yeah. together at Smitty's or wherever <laughs> you go. <laughs> Just shooting cliches Daddy, back at each I other. I appreciate Eddie, but I just, oh you know, I'm shooting. happy being single. <laughs> it's like a game. Hey, yeah. could you imagine? He gives you a cliche. You got to give him one back. If you don't, you lose the game. The Philly Joe and Kirby podcast. We were talking uh, yesterday. Actually, Kirby, you had it in your news uh, with Canada Day approaching on Monday, a great long weekend for uh, for everybody. Fireworks are going to be on display at a few different places. You mentioned the Assiniboia Downs. They always have a Canada Day party. There's a brand new one, Princess Auto Stadium. They've got stuff going on outside and inside. If you want to go inside, you can get free tickets. Mm. Just check out the... Uh, and a lot of driveways. Site. A lot of people will do at the at the lake. I find at their cabins. A lot of like, yeah. you'll be on your yeah. way out of town. You'll just fight because there'll be people at the side of the highway uh, flogging fireworks. I remember being out at the lake at uh, like the Twin Beaches area, and like we were there Canada Day one time, and we were with a bunch of people, and one of the guys was like, "I'm gonna go find the bay that's shooting those fireworks off." Mm, that's a fun game at night. Yeah, yeah. six to fifteen pack under your arm. Let's go find those fireworks. A hundred percent, dude. Came back a couple hours later. I couldn't find. I think, loaded. <laughs> I think the best is the people shooting their shot like a day early or a day later, like yeah. Tuesday, July 2nd, when those <laughs> shots are going up and you're going, what bay is that coming from? Yeah. <laughs> There's still some stuff. Rando. So I have a list of uh, real or fake firework names because firework names have 
are, are pretty cool sometimes. Well, it's got to be a it's got to be a you'll kick look ass up, name. Yeah, and you'll go, oh look, it's a starburst or whatever. Uh, but they have a name. Mm-hmm. You also see a lot of firework fails online. Yeah. Oh. Like, be careful with them. Make sure you know oh what you're doing. Oh my god, yeah. Read the instructions. You guys want to try this? I'll give <laughs> sure. you a few and yeah. see if you guess if they're real or not for fireworks names. Yeah, let's go. Lit and legit. Is lit and legit a real firework name? If it's not, I don't care. I'm using that. That now. sounds good. Lit and legit. That might be Kirby's new uh, social media I'm handle. I'm stealing that. Yeah. Hashtag lit and legit. I'm How gonna are say you doing today? I'm lit and legit. I'm going to say that's an actual firework name. You're saying real. I'm saying real. It's real. Yeah, it is. Lit yeah. and legit. How about fire twerk? <laughs> fire go fake. twerk? I go fake. Uh, wow. Well. I'm going to say it's real, unfortunately. Well, I'm going to say Philly's right. It's fake. Oh. Didn't sound tough enough. Twerk. Come on. Fireworks. <laughs> fireworks got to be badass. <laughs> Funny that you mentioned badass because the next one I had out there was badassical blast. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make that up. That's real. <laughs> no, that's got to be fake. Philly's right again. Oh, three, I four, suck at this. Three, baby. Let's go. Impending danger. Oh, that's got to be real. Fake. No, Kirby's right. It's yes. real. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Unicorn puke. Yeah, that, that sounds kind of awesome. Let's go real. I'm going to say real. Unicorns are real, and so is their puke. It's real. <laughs> and <laughs> the last Unicorn one I have puke. for you <laughs> is redneck finale. Uh, oh, my God. That sounds like something that my like my brother would be shooting off. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Of course it's real. Uh, oh Good job, guys. Good job. Uh, fireworks are awesome, though. Like, legitimately checking them out and seeing a big, badass display of it. One more for you. Larry loses a limb. <laughs> really? <Fake. laughs> <laughs> Philly, Joe, Kirby. Philly, Joe, and Kirby. Podcast. The Philly, Joe, and Kirby Podcast. BJK Extra. You know, we, uh, we like doing the what's what. What's what? Uh, something we used to do on the show. Entertainment news. I would say entertainment news most of the time. We get some celebrity birthdays in there. Movies. It was a great way to talk uh, entertainment. So it's a it, it's PJK extras. Nice, nice to bring it up again. What do you got for today? For me today? entertainment. Uh, well, I'll go with this. Um, on this day in 2021, and I'm bringing this up because. Uh, we uh, Joe and I both watched recently, actually this past weekend, Land of Saints and Sinners with Liam Neeson. And uh, it, it was all right. Joe liked it a little more than I did. But it, it is what it is. Liam, at this point in his career, you're not getting anything earth shattering out of him. And I think that got him an extra point and a half in my books. Right. Just being <laughs> Liam Neeson. Well, I've seen worse movies. Put it yes. that way. Uh, the Ice Road was released on this day in 2021. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the one that was made in Manitoba? Yeah. It's the one that I watched for all of 12 minutes and had to shut it off. And I've never done that with a Liam movie. I have to revisit it because Kirby liked it. I really did. I thought it was really good. Maybe it was because I knew it was filmed here. And Mm. there's just that, like, you know, feeling of proudness that our province was featured in that movie. I'll tell you what. Sidebar on that story. I was supposed to have the opportunity to meet Liam Neeson, if you can believe this, at, uh, at my restaurant through a casting person. But if you remember, things got shut down because of COVID. Oh, that's right. And uh, his, stuff, his stuff was pretty much finished. So he never came back to well, Winnipeg. Hey, the guy makes a movie Maybe about that's it. why. Subliminally in the back of my head or uh, subconsciously, yeah. uh, maybe I can't watch the end of that movie. He, and he makes a new movie every three weeks. So uh, you maybe should be okay. At some point, I'm sure he'll make another movie here in Manitoba and he'll come into your restaurant. There's not many moving vehicles or uh, such that he has left to do. Has he done well, a train? Yeah. Oh. What about Ice Road 2? You just never know. Did it? Did they leave it open for a sequel? I, I left it in 12 minutes. <laughs> Kirby, it's one of your favorite movies ever. Don't, don't ruin it? the ending. What about a snowmobile? <laughs> that could be shot sure, here. Liam, yeah. on, Liam on a snowmobile? Maybe. Yeah. Never say never. Could be. Could be. Hmm. Um, I want to talk about Ozzy Osbourne for a second and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because nobody figured that Ozzy's going to be there in October to perform. But his wife slash manager, Sharon, has come out and said that Ozzy is building up his stamina, strength, and balance at Mm. the age of 75, still dealing with a number of health issues, but 
His goal and focus is to be able to become a solo artist at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in October. And that would be cool. I always like uh, watching the performances at the Rock and Roll Hall mm-hmm. of Fame. But Ozzy, I don't know. I don't know what that would uh, entail, but I'd rather hear he perform than not. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, uh, I don't, I don't want to see it at this point. I think it, at the end, even on the Black Sabbath tours, and when I got a ch- I saw both of those, and I lo- don't get me wrong, I love that he still was doing pretty good at that point, but you could see it lost a step, and now with some of his... Well, it's not just, a step. He shuffles now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I personally, I think Ozzy, you know, the Prince of Darkness, man, an absolute an absolute legend, like uh, someone, like pioneer of metal, like blah, blah, blah. His resume speaks for itself. I think he should shut down performing. Let other no, people... No, but I'm just saying for that one night. Yeah. Just one night. I don't yeah. need a tour. Mm-hmm. I would just love to see him I know it means a lot it. to him, because he's come out and said many times that... Like, like he he doesn't want to be done. Yeah. So well, nobody ever does. But no. I'm just yeah. saying I would be I'm fully understand. Yeah, I'd be a little I'd be a little tense for him. One performance, getting that award. Mm. If I had to ask you guys what you think the worst day of the week is to break up with somebody, what would you guess? A Friday. Mm, I don't know. Breaking up going so, into the weekend. There's no day. There's no like breakup where you go. Well, thankfully it was a Wednesday, so it wasn't. So <laughs> yes. yeah, breaking up is never fun, regardless of the day of the week. Right. That is very valid. They say that the best day, though, if you're going to end things with somebody, is Thursday because then you got a three day weekend ahead of yourself. You got two nights of fun before you got to go back to work. And uh, see, I'd see it the other way. I'd see it as a ruining of the mm, weekend yeah. coming up because it's probably still going to have some. There's still an aftermath yeah. of the breakup. I'd well, rather do it on a Tuesday then. Yeah, don't ruin your weekend. By the time the weekend comes around, yeah. you're ready to get out again. Yeah. Get on the prowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, that's PJK extra. This this is the Philly Joe and Kirby podcast. Pour some sugar on me, Def Leppard. Great live band, Def Leppard. Absolutely. Uh, last time there in Winnipeg, I was there, and everybody was singing every song. It was fantastic. You know what it reminded me of was back to, like, the original time I saw them. You don't always get that same feel when you see a band for a second or third time, especially that big of a gap. Mm-hmm. It was one of those bands that really brought you back to that time. I, I think White Snake opened up for them at one point in the 90s. Oh, in the round, Def Leppard in the round. Yep, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Would have been the uh, Hysteria tour. And it was it, Your memory's way better than mine, but two of my all-time favorites right there. Definitely. One night. It's 740. Yeah, Philly Joe and Kirby on a Wednesday morning. $300 up for grabs. Big dumb wheel just after 9 o'clock this morning. Somebody hopefully will win today. How did the uh, day one, or is it, is it a multiple day uh, tattoo situation for you, Kirby, or just the one day? Are well, you... it's it's going to take a, a couple sessions. Yes, that's yeah. what I was asking. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you're going back today again? No, you got to let it heal for a bit. Okay. So I probably won't go back for about a month or so. Oh, wow. Yeah. I a month? Know. That's crazy. Oh. Yeah, especially because it's summertime, too, mm-hmm. and like I'll be wearing a lot of shorts and stuff. So you have half the tattoo done on your leg? Yeah, like so it's most incomplete. of the most of the line work is done. So though. all you got was Philly. You haven't got and Joe on there. My two buddies. You haven't got the on rest the lower of, back. Well, no, on your no, leg. She right. got a, <laughs> Joe's face. <laughs> Joe's face with his name, and then my face. So my face went first, and then Joe's. Comes Can you later. imagine? That would be amazing. You should put us on each on a knee. Right there, just our face. And then when I like close it up, you guys make uh, weird faces. Yeah, that would be something. No, I look at your faces enough every day. I'm mm. good. Thank you. But uh, yesterday, well, yeah. It's just an idea. Geez, you think your friends, you think your buddies with oh, someone? No, go ahead with a ladybug. <laughs> yeah. Like, not everybody has Philly or Joe on wow. their kneecaps. <laughs> but a ladybug, that's yeah, pretty common. You know, it's an antique ladybug. <laughs> oh, antique. Well, it's it's vintage looking. Yeah, vintage. Yes. Yeah, I sat for like I don't know six six hours yesterday, maybe. Mm. It was. That would it was, make sense. It got to. There were some spots on the leg that uh, were spicy. Mm. Like, the shin, I would guess. Oh, uh, the shin was rough. Yeah, the foot. Because that's on bone. The top of the foot was bad, but I already have a foot tattoo, so I kind of knew what I was getting myself into. Mm. But are you going to get it all colored in? No, I don't like colored tats. Because that more of a would black be and white girl. That'd be a lot of work. Mm. Yeah, like a lot of coloring. Yeah. 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 But yeah, no, just I uh, want to say thanks to Wade at uh, Golden Cicada Tattoo next door to us.
I thought you were going to say Wade Miller. I didn't know he tattoos on his side. <laughs> What's the name of their shop? They're nice people. Golden Cicada. Cicada. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, and yeah, they're nice people. They were next door to us here on Osborne and hung out for the afternoon. And I mean, he specializes in like people who go like fishing and hunting. So mm. this was a little bit off the beaten path for him. Wow, you're a whole <laughs> new file. So Sorry, he specializes in like, I only do you, I only tattoo you if you go fishing and hunting? Or no, he, he just does specializes fishing and hunting in like, tattoos. Th- for a lot of guys in the province that are anglers and hunters, like that's kind of his clientele. So he'll put a fish, he's an expert at putting like the fish on your back or uh, 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 deer antlers. Or, like that's what he does most of the time well just the type of people oh, that go the, to him i get it so i thought you meant that's the designs he does yeah. no no yeah. he does all sorts of different you yeah know, and work. yours is okay so the whole leg from thigh yeah it's a to leg foot. sleeve yeah yeah but it's gonna take a while because i gotta do the back too you do the, the back, back of your the legs yeah covered. eventually yeah. yeah and the yeah. sides and the sides yeah mm. Yeah. And it's okay. flowers and ladybugs. Yeah, it's more of like a floral kind of, I don't know how to put it. Joe, how would you describe it? <laughs> it's I, it all, it's it, all sealed up now. No, but it actually looks like, um, you know, like um, a tribal uh, design. Yeah, with, like a... You know, if you were from like a Polynesian country, that's what it kind of re- yeah. reminded me of. Like Moana. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, very nice. Cool. Guy does some great work, you can tell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was good. And it's sore today? Yeah, it's a little sore. Uh, the la- I didn't get a great sleep last mm. night just because I'm all wrapped up and it's tender and it's swollen. I couldn't even fit my shoe on this morning. I had to wear like a big flip-flop because my foot's swollen. So, so you got two different shoes on? No, Please no. Please tell me you have two different <laughs> shoes That would imagine? be so good. <laughs> You, you know, know like a rubber boot there's going to be a lot of people. Can, you see, this story was absolutely free for some of you. Some people have no idea what's going to hit them this week when they ask about that leg. Oh, and yeah. they get told, well, the guy doesn't usually do just uh, radio people. It's usually fishing and hunters. I, and, and they'll go, what What are you talking about? I think he'll take any customer that wants to pay for it that too. But, that is very uh, true. Yes. It's, it's, well, I thought you only do fishing. You know, what, you know what happened in the whole time we heard about what Wade does over there? God love Wade. Yeah. Six hours. Six hours, you yeah, said yesterday? Yeah. This came in, okay, information-wise, about the concerts you were talking about. Def, Def Leppard open in the round. That was 88 Tesla open Tesla, up that show. Yes. Oh, man. This is my buddy Ronnie, and, and yeah. Ronnie never misses. White Snake open for the crew. Yeah, That's right, in 87. Get, so, hey, you were yeah. pretty close, man. Anyway, Wade, God bless you over there next door. <laughs> you got a lot more to go. <laughs> Philly, Joe, and Kirby. Philly, Joe, and Kirby podcast. The Philly, Joe, and Kirby podcast. Philly, Joe, and Kirby's completely useless question. Useless with a capital Y. Oh, so useless. Brought to you by Midtown 4. Landmark movie passes on the line this morning, and they got it all set up for you. The food, the passes, like this is a night out at the movies, courtesy of Landmark. Joe has the question, 780 City, 780 2484. Getting down to the nitty gritty school, wrapping up in a couple of days. Here's a parental question for you. And there's been other surveys. Don't get me wrong, this is the latest one I saw. Parents say they have an average of about five separate arguments with their kids each day. Phil, would that be about right? I consider you an average parent. Five might be, uh, depending on the day, five could be bang on, five could be light, but there's one or two a day for sure. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you think they get progressively, the, the number grows as they get older, or do you think it becomes less as they get older? It grows. Okay. Yeah. So, parents say they have an average of about five separate arguments with their kids each day. What's the most common thing they argue about? Mm. Remember those days, Kirby, you and your brother? Getting yelled at for feel, certain reasons or like arguing I argued with your parents? With my parents a lot. <laughs> yeah. Because the older, obviously, we've all been there. You know everything, right? At some point. First 50 years of my life before I conceded to my dad. <laughs> I just give up now. <laughs> 780 City, good morning. Hi. Um, can I? I would probably say chores and responsibilities. Sorry? Chores and responsibilities. Chores and responsibilities? Uh. I'll give I'll give you I'll give you cleaning their room. That was okay. number three. Cleaning their room always yeah. seems to come up. Thanks. Thank you. It was so kind of a general up your answer. Room, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
As if somebody was going to come over and specifically go check out my room. Uh-huh. I used to always wonder, I have coming over, companies coming over and got to clean your room. Yeah, Why bad do? parenting. You'd be embarrassing them if your room wasn't yeah, clean. Absolutely. <laughs> How about just closing the door? That's what I thought. <laughs> good morning, City. Uh, good morning. Um, how about uh, sleeping? Uh, sleeping. So, like, oh, you mean like their bedtime? Yeah, or sleeping too much. I'm going to give you a bedtime, number five. Always, absolutely always, bedtime. Do they try to negotiate with yeah. you? No, they just, just give me the, really, already? Like, I'm, I'm so-and-so, I don't have to go to bed at nine. Listen, it's Listen. bedtime. When I say it's bedtime, get your ass up there, brush your teeth, let's yeah, go. I'll tell you what you should use. <laughs> Kirby goes to bed at 7.30. You're up till at least 8.30. <laughs> <laughs> they know Kirby. That is so sad when you think about it. <laughs> Are you kidding? I reacted to your picture last night on uh, Instagram of your tattoo, and 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 you liked the the message. I go eight thirty seven. What the hell is she still doing up? Whoa, whoa, and then know. I knew I knew she was in pain with the leg, and it's the first thing we were going to hear but this she morning. She doesn't do social media after six. No, she had to was the leg. Okay. She didn't oh. get out there till late. Oh, okay. Hi, city. <laughs> Shut off the electronics. Go to bed. Um, oh yeah. No, nothing about. Believe TV it or not, off. nothing about electronics. Nothing. Phone off. Yeah. Seven eighty city. Seven eighty twenty four eighty four. Landmark movie passes up for grabs. Go ahead. Let's go. Talking back. Disrespectful little bastards. <laughs> no, no. Talking nothing back about, in okay. general. Yeah. No, nothing uh, about talking back to the parents. Okay. That would only have happened once in my house. I'll tell mm. you. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Back in the day. Boom. Brushing their teeth. Uh, no. No, that's a good one. Good guess. Not the answer. 780 City, good morning. Uh, Philly, help me out. Let's go fighting with siblings. That's number two, Phil. Oh, <laughs> number man. two. Number one. Number one in our house. Can you do yeah, anything okay. without fighting? Thanks for your guess. Oh, man. If you grew up with siblings, <laughs> though, like... <laughs> It's just part of things. Oh, man. They go out to shoot hoops in the driveway. I look at my wife. I go, three, two, one. <laughs> look out there. Oh, what are you talking about? You travel. And yet, I think they're the best best of buddies. Oh, well, always. But yeah. Doesn't but c- compete. Yeah. They got to compete. That's awesome. Fight. Hi, City. Hi. Can I get a lifeline, please? Uh, Philly or Kirby? Uh, I'll go Kirby. Kirby. I don't know a lot about parenting, but I have a feeling something with food is related, like uh, like getting them to eat or something on their plate. Ladies and gentlemen, she oh. doesn't know a lot about parenting. <laughs> she doesn't know a lot about hunting and fishing, but managed to get an appointment for a tattoo from a somebody, specialist. a specialist in hunting and fishing oh tattoos. Oh my god! Not finishing their meal, leaving things on their plate. The other yes. answer, by the way, was doing homework. Oh, I'm good. Homework you are a winner, my friend. Thanks to Shalinda Kirby. Right on. Thank you, Kirby. This, this is the Philly Joe and Kirby podcast. Wednesday. Would you rather Wednesday? Here we go. 780. No, no. We don't want you to phone. I mean, we do want you to phone, but not for would you rather. <laughs> phone anytime you want. We don't uh, want you to phone. <laughs> but to uh, weigh in, to weigh in on would you rather. The text line works much better. That would be 762 the Boston Pizza text line. Ready to go, Kirby? I'm ready. It's a tough one. This is going to be a tough one for you. Would you rather have all rabbits try to attack you when they see you or have all birds attempt to attack you? When they see you. Hmm. Mm. Well, I'm going to say they're going to attack me with love. No, that's not the question. They're attacking you, like trying <laughs> to be aggressive. So oh, when was the last time you were love attacked? There's a yeah, love attacks are tough when uh, like they just all jump on you to cuddle those bear love attacks mm-hmm. in the woods. No, it's a, an aggressive. They want to eat you attack. Well, I honestly think bunnies would be a little bit easier to handle because they're softer. Mm-hmm. Birds are, are going to be an aerial attack, and they're going to they're going to mess up my hair. Mm-hmm. And there's some uh, there are some big mean birds out there, like even just crows and ravens, and then you got hawks. And, yeah. That, yeah. So you're going with uh, you'd rather and the, be and a, the talons from that's above. Right. That's like I'd rather take on the rabbit. They take your hair extensions for their nest, right? <laughs> They probably view that as uh, good nest building material. Yeah, some some would uh, suggest that uh, your talons would be uh, a bit uh, aggressive for them. Mm-hmm. 
So you're well, they've go... gotten shorter over the years. Yes, but, they uh, have. Yeah. Rabbits. You want to, you'd rather be attacked by rabbits, yeah. Joe. Rabbits can be mean too, especially like jack rabbits. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, they're back. Legs. Big legs and everything else. <laughs> but I got to tell you, I, I've always been afraid of birds since uh, I had an owl land on the tree right out my bedroom window when oh I was like god. six years old. It was traumatizing. <laughs> I didn't want to go to school that day because this thing's looking right at me. We've heard this story. Yes, owls are n- gnarly, man. They're well, great. They're. Uh, I find them fascinating <laughs> the way they spin yes. their heads. Yeah. Yeah, and then they've, you know, so yeah, I agree with uh, Kirby on that. The aerial attack would be harder to defend Mm -hmm. than uh, the rabbit attack. So I'm going to go, unless it's, yeah, I'm going to go with the rabbits too. The rabbits, okay. Just kicking rabbits away on your way to your vehicle in your driveway. (laughs) (laughs) Would you rather, would you rather trees scream occasionally or, and that would be for no reason. So you just, you're walking, uh, going for a walk at a tree. Ah! Yells at you. Hey, lady. So trees (laughs) scream at you. Or spiders be big enough and smart enough to open doors. Screaming trees, I think Ooh. that's a band. Or uh, spiders. Yeah, I think you're right. Spiders that can open doors. Well, I don't know. You know, it would be nice to have doors opened for me. Sometimes I have my hands full and, mm. I, and I don't have enough hands to open the door of my apartment. I, I could have a few. I could deal with the spiders opening doors. That'd be terrifying, spiders that could open doors. Yeah. To be that big. Yeah, Uh, yeah, because, you know, trees, being that there's a ton of them out there, screaming at you isn't terrifying. I would take, that's your opinion, but I would take take screaming trees. I'm going to have to take screaming trees uh, just for the fact that my dog pees on them all the time. So (laughs) I could see them screaming at my dog just to look at the reaction on his face when he lifts that leg. And all of a sudden there's a scream. A Get tree out. screaming at them. Get out of here, dog. Plus spiders, man. That's pretty scary stuff mm. you're dealing with. They're hard enough when they get to the size of, let's say, a loony. Oh, Never God. mind. Big enough to open a door. <laughs> Would you rather have chapped lips that never heal or terrible dandruff that can't be treated? Oh. Oh. Neither is good. Those chapped lips, man. Be, look that like never you just heal. Cook. Or dandruff that yeah. you can't treat. The, you yeah, want to kiss these lips as they're like flaking. <laughs> look like you just got splitting back. Splitting in half because they're being so dry. Stranded yeah. in the desert. <laughs> Those yeah, lips. Like, have you ever no thought kidding. about drinking water using <laughs> chapstick? <laughs> you use chapstick, but they yes. won't heal. That's the question. Like you're, And you, then what was the other? Uh, dandruff that dandruff. can't be treated. Oh, that's bad too. That's why it's a question, Kirby. They're both bad. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, tips. Uh, yeah. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, the the dander. Cause dandruff. Dandruff. Because yeah. then I can wear a hat, a mm. toque, hide it easier than my lips being dry. I yeah. don't know if you can hide it. That's the problem. Your head like you're gonna be like a snow globe at some point <laughs> if you can't treat it right. Like you'd be scratching. Snow globe. You play with your hair all the time. You'd be scratching oh, your head God. all the time. Ooh, that is a tough one. Yeah. I'm going to go with the dried lips just mm. to be different. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck getting a kiss from your girl well, with those dried lips. Well, because the dandruff uh, that's untreatable <laughs> is going to help you get laid. <laughs> <laughs> For more Philly Joe and Kirby, lock it into 921 City weekday mornings, 6 to 10.